Viewfinder, image. Hey YouTube, Gallagher123123, back with you all. And this video on the Brownout Touch, I'm going to give you an overview as to what apps I have installed on here. Because yes, you can install third-party apps. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you as of today, August 20th, what apps I have installed, what works, and what doesn't work. So, first things first, we're going to unlock the touch. And again, I'm using Vocalizer. Lock, lock, 2.53 p.m. Notification, backup complete. And now you're getting a, even another demo. Of an app that I was going to show you that's in my list. Notification, for new messages. It's two o'clock, so wow, that actually worked out very well. So we're gonna unlock. unlock button. Device unlocked. Main menu. Now just to quickly give you an overview, I am gonna show the main menu again. I showed you that in my first video, but it wouldn't hurt, so we've contacts. Contacts, key list, email, email, email internet, keyword, internet, word processor, keyword, word processor, planner, key plan. Our word or planner. File manager, key files, file manager, calculator, key calc, key calc, Victor Reader. Victor Reader. Play Store. Play Store, and the option we're going to use is All Applications. All Applications. So I'm going to go in here with Enter. Main Menu All Apps. Amazon Shopping. Amazon Shopping. That's, of course, the Amazon app. And so far, I haven't had the best of luck with that, but that's one for me to explore further. Bard Mobile. Bard Mobile. I've explored a little bit. That works. Calendar. That's a simple Google Calendar app. I haven't checked that out. Camera. Camera. Chime Time. Chime Time, that's the app you just heard. Unfortunately, I could, in my research, I found out the disappointing news that this app has been discontinued. However, I was able to re-download it in my purchases, which is a really good thing because I liked it. Chrome. Chrome, I don't really use that because it's a key web. Clock. Clock app, I've heard that's quite accessible. I don't use it though. Dice World. Dice World. That is a lot of fun on here. You can play some Dice World in a future video. Maybe I'll give a demo of that. Docs. Google Docs. Downloads. Downloads. Drive. Drive. Dropbox. Dropbox. I'll have to set that up. Easy Unwar. Easy Unwar. I haven't experimented with that much. Easy PDF. Now, Easy PDF is a PDF converter, which can allow you to convert a PDF into a Word document. Very handy. Eloquence, TTS. Eloquence text to speech. That's what it sounds like. That's the eloquence voice available for your touch if you purchase it. Facebook. Facebook. If you don't know what Facebook is, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> um, no, Facebook is a very popular social network, of course. And the app works quite well. Gallery. To my gallery, let's write your photo viewer. Gmail. Gmail. I use Keymail, so I haven't tested this. Go read. Go read. This is very handy. It's a great way to download your Bookshare titles. So then what I do is then I download them, but immediately I start reading them with the Victor Reader app. Google. Google. Just like a Google app. Google Settings. Google Settings. Google Plus. Google Plus. Hangouts. Hangouts. iBlink Radio. iBlink Radio, that's the app from Saratech, which has a list of internet radio, stations, podcasts, all that good stuff. Ideal Currency Identifier. Ideal Currency Identifier, that's a currency reader. Karma. Karma, that's the app for the mobile hotspot, which I reviewed. So if you go back on my channel and wish to learn a bit more about the Karma hotspot, I would encourage you to go ahead and give that a look. Keep. Keep. Let's go keep. Key BRF. Key BRF. Now we're going to come to all the Keysoft apps. Now Key BRF is a BRF file reader or BRL file reader. Key calc. Key files. Key list. Key mail. Key plan. Key updater. Key web. Now Key updater. Let's go back one. Key updater. That is an app 
to update your Braille Note Touch and as well as to install an acapella voice. We can have a look at that in another video. Keyweb. Keyweb. Keyword. Kingdoms. Trivia Crack Kingdoms. I cannot get this to work at all. All it does is crash on me. Lookout. Lookout Antivirus. That's very good. I'd highly recommend that. Maps. Google Maps. Messenger. Facebook Messenger. That works pretty well. Nearby Explorer Online. Nearby Explorer. This is a GPS app put out by American Printing House. Now this is the online version, which I just downloaded to see if I'd like it before I'd ever consider purchasing the full-blown app. Photos. Google Photos. Playbooks. Playbooks. Play games. Play movies and TV. Play music. Play newsstand. Play store. And those are all your play apps. So play music, play store, play news. Plume. Plume is a Twitter client which, eh, doesn't work too well. Settings. Settings app. You can access that in other places. Sheets. Google, Google Sheets. Shipwreck. Shipwreck. That's another app I would highly recommend. It's one I use on my iPhone all the time for keeping track of packages that are coming. Basically, it allows you to send an email to packages at shiprack.com and it will add it to your shiprack list. Slides. Google Slides. Tap, tap, see. Tap, tap, see. That's an app where you can take a picture and it will tell you what it is. That's also available for the iPhone. Team Talk 5 servers. Team Talk 5. Notification. Hermler Westminster. Ooh. Take picture. Button. Stop recording video. Button. Stop recording video. Take picture. You find it. Six minutes. 55 seconds. Oh. Um. Okay, this is a little weird glitch here. This app is up again. <laughs> I guess it wasn't really 2 o'clock. I don't know why it chimed when I unlocked the device. Okay. Trivia Crack. Trivia Crack. That is also quite playable on the touch. It requires a bit of work, but in a future video, if there's enough interest, I will happily show how to play Trivia Crack on the Brown Up Touch. Tune in radio. Tune in radio. I haven't had a chance to look at that yet, but I'm familiar with it on the iPhone. Tweetings. Tweetings, another failure. Twitter. Twitter is the only Twitter client I've had decent success with. However, it's not a joy at all. Unicode map. Unicode map. I don't know what really that's for. Victor Reader. Victor Reader. Vocalizer voices. Vocalizer voices, and that's what I'm using now. These are voices available for Code Fact from Code Factory for purchase. Voice search. Google Voice Search. That's a bit of a fun one. Vorel. Vorel. Haven't had a chance to look at that yet. YouTube. YouTube. Jenny Voice. English us. And that's it. So YouTube, I have a bit of issues with, which I'm hopeful they'll be resolved. Basically, it just keeps crashing every time I go to play a video. YouTube. Vorel. Voice search. Now, just because we have a few minutes, I'm going to show you Google Voice Search. Let me slow the speech down. Normal. To normal. And this allows you to ask Google questions. So, just to show you that you can run a third party app, I'm going to mute speech by doing the previous thumb key with space. And speech off has been displayed on the Braille display. And I'm going to hit enter to launch this. And I'm going to ask, what is the weather in Freeport, Maine? It's 74 degrees and mostly cloudy in Freeport. And that does work. And now what we can do, speech on, turn the speech on. If I press the letter V, now granted I'm using the physical keyboard for this. Videos. Voice search button. And there's the voice search button, so I'll turn off speech again. And we can ask, what time is it in Oslo, Norway? The time in Oslo, Norway is 9.03 p.m. And that works quite well. So that's a sneak peek at some of the fun you can have. I'm going to do 
I'm gonna press the home button, which is located on the bottom near the thumb keys. Now we're on the main menu. Let me just speech on. And speed that back up. Fast. Okay, so that was just something to do at the end for a little bit of fun. To exit an app, I'll just quickly show you how to get to your app switcher. It's space with dots two, three, six, I believe. No, two, three, five. So I'll do that. Recent apps. One recent app. Clear all button. You can clear all, so I'm just pressing my right thumb key. Google. Or my next thumb key. Bottom. So Google is open. Clear all button. One recent app. And I'll just select clear all. Clear all that's button. the only thing that's open. Main menu. And there we go. I'm now going to lock the touch because that's all I want to cover here. Screen off. So that is a tour of the apps that I currently have installed on this Braille Note Touch 18. If anyone has recommendations of things they would like me to, to demonstrate or you know, of an accessible app that you use on your Android phone, let me know and I'll try it and see if I can demo it and see how it runs on the Braille Note Touch. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and if there's any one of those apps that I've shown you in that list that you'd like a bigger like demonstration of, do let me know and I will do my best to do that for you. So I hope you've enjoyed this look at the Braille Note Touches All Apps, and I'll see you in the next video.